We're gonna talk about four things, man. We're gonna talk about rule of thirds and composition. We're gonna talk about how your perspective should be unique and dynamic. Then we're gonna talk about the quality of lenses, what lenses you should be using. And also to practicing patience, man. Those are the four cheat codes to having perfect photos, man. These came out very clean. And I know initially I wanted to get some fire fire portraits. So uh, check these out and let me know what you think. All right, y'all, so as we dive into these cheat codes, man, we're gonna start with wood of thirds and composition. So within this whole framing, man, thinking about it, we're in, we're shooting medium format. Then this whole space, you gotta think of what can you fit into this square? I want to have something chaotic behind, so I thought about the snoop. So I wanted to make sure I had the whole wave of lights that was shooting from the snoop. I wanted to have that effect all in frame in, in inside that square right behind her so I'm not missing anything. Also too, I wanted to make sure I had an emphasis on the subject. So my subject being in the center um, and everything around her, I wanted to make sure she was the center of attention, that she was illuminated. When you put your rule of thirds up on your screen, right, you get to see, okay, what is standard, what is off, and it can definitely take away from how appealing your photos look. You can tell when you look at an image and it looks a little off. And the slightest adjustment to your composition on how it's framed and how lines are leading and, and sort of everything, within those minor, minor adjustments that can make your photo look 10 times better. Another thing is having a unique perspective. So with this, it's either if you want to go from a different angle or even have your model kind of the uh, maneuvering angles that you want them to. So I really love this shot of Ashley when she turned her face. I like this perspective because how I had the lighting, it gave us a nice little contrast over her face. And speaking of perspective, towards the end of the shoot when we shot on natural light, I wanted to get on the stool to get a different perspective. You know how cinematography, you know, they speak of a high angle is more from a powerful figure, you know? So I thought I'd be one to express that, but I also be one to express power from a, from a, um, from a high angle, uh, but with the subject looking up from that high angle rather than just having a low angle perspective. I just like to get different looks so I can create different emotions um, with these subjects because all subjects aren't going to give the same effect in my opinion. This next one, man, quality lenses. So I shoot failing. When I shot digital, I've started out with prime lenses and I loved it. So I started off with a 50, down to a 24, then I had an 85. And then eventually I got lended a 24 or 70. So it worked out pretty well with the primes. That was my main thing. And it was real clean. It was perfect. It was perfect for different uh portrait shoots started off using prime lenses so i noticed when i would ask people ask for advice when it came to shooting when it came to shooting portrait treatment because that was something that i was interested in initially they would say hey man go get you a prime lens you know you don't really need anything zoning prime lenses are sharper you usually have more rolling to play with with the prime lens because f-stops are usually higher on those i made sure i took advantage of that and i was shooting with those because when you're using these prime lenses you're usually using them for a specific cause like i'm using the 85 i'm wanting it something real tight and if you're getting something wide like with a 35 you maybe want something that's maybe a little bit more full body or like for family photos or something that's wider for that, you know, like a 24. So right now on film, I'm shooting on a 90, which is like a 55 that's cropped on the medium format camera. And it's smooth. Uh, it's, I haven't shot with any of the lens on that yet, but I definitely say the quality of the lens and what you're shooting is definitely, definitely important. With me being around 55 at my length, I'm able to still be able to get some full body shots and I want to eventually get something a little bit more wide. My favorite focal length is around like 35 millimeters and I love a nice fish eye look so I can be able to get tight and get different perspectives that most people don't get. 
definitely want to look into what's your style when it comes to figuring out what unique looks you want. And that can kind of figure out what quality lens is unique, you know. But definitely, I would advise try out ball with a prime first and go from there. All right, y'all, for the last cheat code, man, y'all have to practice patience, bro. Like, and this is something that I've learned over time as shooting photography. I feel like when we're given the gift of shooting a digital camera and being able to shoot up throughout a whole SIM card, I just fucked that up the other day. It's an SD card. I've been saying SIM card for years, bro. When you're loading up this SD card with hella photos, shooting shot after shot after shot, you get used to just shooting all the time. But when you get a film camera, you have to learn how to use patience because you gotta pay for these shots. And you only get, uh, depending on what type of sound camera, if you're shooting on a 35 mil, you got probably 36 to maybe 24 exposures. But even on a media format, you may have eight, 10 or 16, or, you know, it depends. If you are starting out photography or if you beginning with a digital camera, definitely, definitely practice patience because this will help you out in the long run. Like I wish I was taking my time when it came to shooting photos because it makes your photos more meaningful because you're having more intention behind it rather than just shooting and shooting and seeing what I got. Like that's also cool, you feel me? but definitely take some time to really understand and see what you're trying to shoot, you know? But that being said, man, if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video and learn some dope, dope tips that can help you on your journey, man. If you like this video as well, make sure you hit the like button and also drop below. Let me know what tips helped you out the most and some stuff that you use or some stuff that I don't even know, you feel me? So let's get it, man. Let's grow better. Keep shooting. Peace.